Hey everybody, John Ellis with Uphill Media, and this is a very quick uh, video on what you need to do if you're a uh, anybody involved in the progressive movement that's going to be on camera. If you're going to be interviewed or on camera for any reason, more than likely you're going to be using one of these systems. Skype, FaceTime, Google Hangout, YouTube Live, Periscope, Facebook, independent media which is the progressive movement, what interviews the progressive movement. They use the internet and they use these systems. We use Google Hangouts, we bring it through Livestream Studio to do our interviews and fun stuff like this. So, you need to be ready. It's your responsibility on your end to have uh, your audio and video, lighting, everything look and sound good. You need to look and sound as good as possible, especially if you're a candidate running for office, because you're more than likely running against somebody in establishment, somebody who's got access to mainstream media tools and, and uh, people that are going to make them look like a million bucks. And you don't have a million bucks just to make you look good. So you've got to utilize the, the tools that you have available. And so we're going to talk about uh, what to do. We're going to go through this quick list here. The first thing is, is you need a capable computer. Pads generally aren't going to cut it. A phone isn't going to cut it. You need a, a good laptop that can connect to Ethernet, wired internet connection, you, and you, or, or a desktop computer. All right. If you're run, especially if you're running for office, you're not going to be able to, to pull this off with a, a pad or a phone if you want to do uh, professional looking and sounding interviews with independent media. And, and you're going to need that as a vehicle to promote your platform and to uh, to gain a base, right? So, capable computer and a location somewhere with a good internet connection, a wired internet connection. Your wireless connection, even if you're right next to your router, will never look and sound as good as a hardwired connection. It's never going to be as dependable. There's always going to be buffering. There's always going to be issues there. So you want a hardwired connection. The best way to deal with that if your router is far away from where you want to do the interview is to get a uh, Cat5 cable. They're not that expensive. Get a 50-foot one. Get a 100-foot one. Whatever you need. String it through the house. String it through your office. Connect your computer directly in and remove it. Coil it back up when you're done. Right? This is what you're going to have to do if you want to look and sound the best and have a very dependable signal from wherever you are. HD webcam, um, you, you want to you make sure you're using a high definition webcam. Uh, these are the things that we recommend. Logitech C920, which is a very dependable, it's industry standard. I think it's like 49, 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks. You don't need the fancy ones with the extra stuff. You don't need the 4K version. You just need the basic 1080p Logitech C920. Right. Even if you have a laptop, it might be better to get this because it'll give you, uh, you can move it around, you can angle it, you can place it different than your laptop screen. Right? And you want it at eye level. Right? Mine is eye level for me. You don't want to be looking down on people and you don't want to be looking up at people. You don't want to be looking off in the corner. You want to make sure you're looking right at them. All right? So if you put your laptop up on books or get that Logitech and then you can put it on a stand or whatever you need to adjust it, get the height right. Recommend the Blue Yeti microphone, which is a USB or if you get the fancy version, it, it has a XLR inputs as well. All you need is the USB version. They do make other microphones, Snowball and stuff, but I recommend the, the Blue Yeti. Audio is actually uh, the most important factor in video because if you sound good, it will keep people listening to you, even if your video is crappy. If you sound terrible and you got a good video, people will actually leave sooner. All right. So audio, most important there. We recommend those two things. Invest in those, particularly if you're a candidate. All right. Neither one is going to do well if you're not on a solid internet connection. Right. So make sure that foundation is first. The MEE Audio M6 over-the-ear sports earbuds with an extension. That's what I recommend for a headset. Don't use a wireless headset. Don't use Bluetooth headset. Don't use a gaming headset that has a microphone that comes around front. A lot of people like those. They're okay, but you can end up with Darth Vader syndrome where we can hear your voice. Or they just sound crappy. And you don't want the big old things, right? Why, why do I recommend these? Well, first of all, they're under 20 bucks. It's under 30 bucks you get the extension. Second of all, I'm wearing it right now. Here it is. You don't even know it's here, right? So that's the benefit. It doesn't even look like, doesn't even look like you're you're wearing anything. So, 
That's why I recommend the MEE Audio M6. There'll be links in the description of the video to all of this stuff. You want the camera at least arm's length away. Mine's actually a little more than arm's length. Why? Depth of field, right? I can lean in and out and my head doesn't become huge. It also gives whoever's interviewing you a lot more space to be able to crop in that image and space underneath you, right? So that they can put a lower third like they do. So that's why you want eye level and arm's length away. Light in front of you, you don't want brighter light behind you than what's in front. That makes you look like you're in the witness protection program, right? And it, you want it to be 5,000 K, that's Kelvin. That's a spectrum of light. We're not talking power. It can be a 40 watt equivalent as long as it's white light, daylight. The sun is actually a white light. 5,000 Kelvin is a whiter light. Most of the bulbs that we have in our homes are a yellow light. They're around 2,800, 3,000 K. If you use yellow bulbs, you will look yellow in your interview. Nobody wants to look like they have jaundice or be in WITSEC, right? So you want to go out and just go to Lowe's or anywhere, you know, Home Depot. You may be able to find it in a safe way or another store. Basically, you want a 40 watt or 60 watt equivalent daylight spectrum, 5,000 Kelvin or as close as you can find bulb. Replace the bulbs that you got around with those. Windows are great. Window light is great, but you can't, you can't count on that because you don't know when you're going to be doing a nighttime interview, right? And you don't want a window behind you no matter what. It's very difficult to light. Just trust me. Ask Tim Canova about, about lighting a window. Uh, anyway, um, clean background. Your background can be whatever, kitchen, bookshelf, bedroom, closet, just as long as the area is clean and use that space. If you've set up your, your studio area where you've got that room in front of you, you should have that much behind you and put a sign up and that'll give whoever's interviewing you a nice background to work with and crop in. That's it. That's the simple stuff. This is the short version. I'm going to do another video that will go more into detail on a lot of these things. What I want you to do, though, is contact me. We're here to help everybody. We want you looking and sounding the best as possible for the progressive movement. Info at uphillmedia.org. Tell me you're ready for a test. We'll bring you into our system. We'll help you with your room. We'll help you with lighting, with audio, whatever you need. That's what we're here for. So, thanks.